I got a sweet chili sauce. Dipping sauce for the right? That's my final touch. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. So good. Mmm. Beautiful, lovely. Hello everyone, welcome to Kyoshi's Hospitality. Tonight, we're going to feature a dish you don't see very often to any regular Chinese restaurant. This dish is one of the popular common appetizer, one of the province in China, we call it Pokian. They call it Kikyam, or traditionally they call it Kweikung. Let me tell you what kind of ingredients we're going to use in order to prepare this dish. The ingredients for this dish are hikama, red onions, carrots, sitake, mushrooms, and a diced means garlic. And the seasoning are, very important, the five spices, which is you can buy this anywhere in any Asian store. Very important is the one who bring the flavor for this dish. Brown sugar, salt, black pepper, and of course, the eggs. And the main things in order to wrap this, we use if we call soybean curd seeds. You see this very often, mostly in Chinese restaurant. I mean, a Chinese store, and they use normally this in a dim sum place. All right, now let's start cooking. First, a pound of ground pork. Mix. We're all going to put everything together. First, with the garlic, the minced garlic the dice, sitake, the mushrooms, and we mix also the dice, carrots, dice, red onions, and of course, hikama. Now we mix everything together. Mix it very well. We're gonna make sure everything up, it mixed equally. It's very, very important because you don't want to sum up pork and the vegetables mix it separately. So it looks good, colorful, fresh pork, fresh veggie. This this I made it from uh, learned from my father many many years ago. You know he's uh, he's from mainland China. It's one of his uh, favorite dishes, especially when he's uh, drinking. It's a good appetizer for drinking, which is I learned from him. Not only making this, le learning how to drink as well. All right, now we mix it very well now. We, we start to put the seasoning of salt, black pepper, five spices. This is very, very important flavor. This is the most important, they call five spices. You smell it, a very good aroma. The last but not the least, the brown sugar. And then in order to mix this, to get more moist, we have to put a piece of egg. And then start mixing. You can see that. It has to be equal color. The whole meat has to be even up. This is not done yet. The most important things here in order to get the taste right, you have to let it sit it for your about 15 to 25 minutes, all right? And then now we're done, and then we, after we sit for like 15, 20 minutes, we're gonna wrap it. I'll show you how to wrap it by using the soybean curd seeds, all right? After 15 minutes, this is how it came out. Now it's time for me to show you how to wrap it, okay? It's totally different than the regular spring roll. To wrap it. Now we're using the bean curd seeds, okay? And first, this is a big one, so we have to cut this in a half. Otherwise, it's too long. So this one, we have to cut also half of this because this is a little bit too big. Here we go. Not too much because this is, this is gonna wrap it. Make sure you spread it out because uh, you, don't have to, you don't need to too much because what, what, what happens when you wrap this up, make sure you roll it, one, and two, that's good. 
see the skin how shiny is that this is going to be just like this don't push it too hard because it's, this could be absorbed the skin will absorb the meat this you see in a few minutes it's all going to this all going to be wrinkled because it the meat absorbed the, uh, the skin so we make another one that's the first batch after we roll it let's let it sit for about a minute look at the skin came out it's everything it's, see it's sucking up it's up that we mean the skin is thick to the meat itself now we go for the last step after we roll everything to the soybean curd uh, soy cur sheets now you see this different right now see that they absorb they set everything up like it's just the skin stick and uh, meat itself now we're going to deep fry it with a vegetable oil and lower the fire This gonna take about, this gonna take about three to four minutes for each side until it get the brown. See brown, brown right now. So now you, I lower a medium heat right now. This cook fast when too long, especially pork. See that? Looking good. This is looking good. This is good with a glass of wine. Normally Chinese people, they like this drink with a cognac or scotch whiskey with a spicy dipping sauce or spicy chili sauce, sweet chili sauce. See, that's supposed to be look like brown flavor. Look at how beautiful that. Beautiful, 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 look at that. Kikyam, honestly, this is one of my favorite appetizers. It's good because it's mixed with the vegetables. When you eat it, you can, you can feel the juice, the, the textures, and the flavor of the, of the seasoning you put in there because it's absorbed. When, when, you absor when, when the meat absorbs it for a while and the flavor of it, you, you can even taste the difference about the pork. I mean, you can taste the pork anymore. It's just like meat log. It's good once you try it. It's very one of the very popular dishes, like I said, in the mainland China, we call it, uh, in Fukien. Looking good, looking good, looking good. It should be done now. It's another minute more, another minute. Fry time for both sides, four, five minutes for, uh, four minutes for each side. But this one, deep fried, normally three, three minutes, three to four, three minutes for both sides. See this, this is a perfectly ready to go on. This is how it's supposed to be looks like. Here we go. The final touch and drain it with a paper towel. Which we have to drain the oil. See that? Now it's let palace nance. This house the puzzle. And I got a sweet chili sauce. Dipping sauce for the kikyam, right? That's my final touch. Now you see the skin how crunchy. Look at here. Listen, how crisp, all this, how crunchy is that? That's how it is because of the of the soybean curd sheets. We call it soybean skin, soybean curd skin. Now we get over deep. Here we go. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. Mmm. Beautiful. Lovely. You should try it. The best. Yeah. The veggie, not too soggy. The meat just cooked perfectly. It's just juicy. You can see the juice in there. See that the juice. That's how even veggie, how crunchy. It's not soggy. It's not overcooked. That's perfect. You take about two. Four minutes to each side. Here we go. Mmm. Delicious. We call it hoseka. How to? Hocha. Kampai. Kampai. I hope you enjoy my take with Chinese Kikyam. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Make a comment. See you, see you later.